From the beginning of the modern railways as we know them, Britain was the world leader in pioneering locomotive design and development. Right from the early days of railways, innovation and development led to new locomotives that were more powerful and faster than those that came before. This helped deliver prosperity, contributing to the economic and social well-being of the country by providing efficient connectivity. By the late 1940s, Britain started to explore the use of diesel traction as a potential replacement for steam. In 1947, the London, Midland and Scottish Railway pioneered this next major development in motive power by developing Britain's first mainline diesel locomotive. Designed, developed and built in only two years. This locomotive was rolled out of Derby Works in December of that year after an enhanced six-month build. It set the benchmark against which other diesel locomotive developments would be compared. The locomotive was numbered 10,000 and along with its sister 10,001 proved the efficiency and capability on the then new modern diesel traction. The locomotive and its pioneering English electric power unit were the origin of future developments in locomotive design, some of which still operate on the main line today. In fact, many diesel locomotives that were designed and built in Britain can trace their ancestry to the twins as they became known. Unfortunately, both locomotives were scrapped before the preservation movement had fully formed, and so the original locomotives were lost forever. Or so you would think. Britain has a very strong railway heritage sector with over 100 preserved railways and heritage centres for people to immerse themselves in the rail travel of yesteryear. Since the first preserved railways from the 1950s, the preservation movement has evolved and is not just limited to restoring railways for people to enjoy. Today, there are no less than 18 new locomotive build projects around the country filling voids in Britain's locomotive history. They cover both steam and diesel traction, enabling that pioneering spirit of British railway engineering excellence to remain alive and flourish. One of these projects is recreating LMS 10,000. Formed in 2011, the Ivert Diesel Recreation Society based at Worksworth on the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, is working towards filling an important gap in Britain's railway history. While other projects, especially those recreating steam locomotives, must make everything from new, the group building LMS 10,000 are able to make use of existing components. It may still seem an impossible task, but on closer inspection, all the ingredients were available in one form or another. A suitable donor chassis from the same lineage in the form of a class 58. Same type bogies from a scrapped class 77 that are an evolved form of those developed for 10,000. An original English electric power unit of the same type and vintage with very low running hours on the clock. Plus many English electric equipment and components that are still readily available in the wider spares pool. Today the society has gathered a great momentum with new contacts made in the rail industry. Invaluable support from our host railway and our much appreciated supporters, members and volunteers. Without their help, we would not be in the position we are now with the donor chassis, same type bogies and power units, plus many other components and fittings that will lead to a recreated 10,000. The project is now reaching a crucial point where the heavy engineering begins. The donor class 58 has been reduced to a chassis this has been rotated to enable modification to be made so that it can interface with the bogies that are being overhauled. The bogies are being stripped to enable the brake rigging to be checked and traction motors to be repaired. A low running hours power unit that is of the same type and vintage as that used in 10,000 has been taken to a specialist for work to be undertaken. At the same time, the many accumulated components are being overhauled in the workshop ready for assembly into 10,000. Work has already started on the building of the electrical cubicle for the locomotive that will take the driver's commands from the cab and control the operation of the engine and power to the bogies. All the skills that once created 10,000 are being utilised again, from heavy engineering, electrical design, through to activities such as public engagement and education are all combining to make the project a reality. Like many new locomotive builds, even though these are volunteer-led projects, 
they still have to be engineered and built to the exacting standards that are required to operate on railway. We are now in an era where Britain can no longer design, develop or build its own mainline locomotives. The latest locomotives are now bought from overseas. So isn't it great to showcase what is possible when people work together with the same pioneering spirit that produced locomotives like 10,000? Imagine 10,000 making visits to railways across the country, pulling trains of the same period and inspiring the next generation of rail enthusiasts and rail industry pioneers. A shining example of Britain's once great railway engineering capability. Now wouldn't you like to be part of that?